Hells yeah, man. It's gonna be great. Tonight's the night. Morat's premiere party, man. We're gonna get hit, man. It's gonna be great. And MTV's gonna be there. I'm talking yo MTV raps. I'm talking the grind, yo. And I'm talking alternative nation. It's gonna be great, man. You know who's gonna be there? Do you know who's gonna be there? Kennedy. Virgin. Unspoiled, untouched. And tonight's the night. Yeah, don't worry, I'm strapped. <laughs> Living large in a mall, people welcome to the Mall Rats premiere party. It's Kennedy here tonight. We've got Shannon Doherty, we've got stars, we've got Sponge. It's a huge party, and Rock the Boat is helping us put it on. My goodness, people, do you want to know what Mall Rats is all about? Do you want a little preview of the film? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Not JFK, baby, the VJ. Well, I'm going to give you a sneak preview. Here it is. Oh my God, Renee dumped you. Oh, have no fury like a woman scorned for Sega. Come on, I thought we weren't going through this makeup breakup kid anymore. Yeah, well, you can just forget about making up. There is something out there that can help ease our simultaneous double loss. The mall. They got these new cookies at the cookie stand. You have to try them. They're awesome. You know about this game show thing they got going on here? Well, we need you guys to somehow ensure that it doesn't happen. You may fire when ready. I may fall, damn it! Where the hell did that come from? What's going on here? Ow! Ow! Yo, man, let me see them tickets. Get them tickets out. Alanis Morissette, man-hating pop. Fog hat. Just crap. Get the party tickets out, man. We're gonna party, yo. Yo, I told you to get that checked out. Come on, we need them. Come on. Yeah, don't worry about it. Some way, we're gonna get into that party tonight. We get hit. Let's go. We'll figure this out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Mall Rats premiere party. The movie is about to begin. Everyone is arriving, and it, it's so exciting. Rock the boat is here. Sponge is going to play. Oh my God! I think. There's people, there's paparazzi. I've got into the... Paul Schaefer! Paul! Keanu! No, I not. love you in speed! How's the late night orchestra? <laughs> cute. They are very cute, I've seen them. Isn't this exciting? Uh... Guess what? Can I help you? Look, my good man, we got man props. Look under Sound Bob, you should be on the list. Sound Bob. Energetic Bob, European Bob, Luscious Bob, Plastic Bob, Quiet Bob. No, no Sound Bob. He is luscious, but um, quiet and solid are the same thing. Sorry. Come on, man, that's us right there on the poster. Look, take a look. I can't help you out, okay? Show. Check this out, man. Take a look see at these. Naked pictures of Kennedy. Really? Welcome to the party part of the Mall Rats premiere party. I am here with uh, the writer, director of this fine film, Kevin Smith. Now, Kevin, uh, this was your brainchild. Although you said before the premiere that uh, it's film is a collaborative process. But uh, let's talk about Clerks. Now, your first movie, after El Mariachi, that's a joke. You didn't do El Mariachi. No, you're joking. No, you didn't do El Mariachi. Come on now. That is Mexican. We shot that. We sh Clerks is Jersey. Clerks. That's, I always get them confused, though. Same difference. Maybe it was a guns. black and white thing. Yeah, you know, Mariachi being in color and all. You think you get stupid questions? You should hear the barrage of stupid questions I get. What do you mean there's no ice? You mean I gotta drink this coffee hot? So how much is this thing anyway? 
Do you sell hubcaps for a 72 Pinto hatchback? Oh, mini truck amazing. Kennedy here with uh, Gavin Smith and Brian O'Halloran. Brian, you might remember, as Dante and Clerks, and now you're suitor number three. Uh, suitor number three. What would our first date be like? Well, uh, first I'd take you shopping to the stores you'd want to shop in. And then we'd do a little lunch, probably at the Cheese House, followed by some golfing. And then at night, uh, we'd take in an opera, probably Deflator Mouse. And then I'd follow it all up with a drive to a secluded beach where I'd pop on the radio and, and then we could slow dance till the sun came up. That was the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. Now, uh, you like the soundtrack? Oh, I love the soundtrack. I didn't hear it until like a couple of days ago and when I heard it, I was like, oh my God, we actually were able to get all these people on the soundtrack? Well, listen to who's on the soundtrack. Bush, Weezer, Elastica, Sponge, Belly, Silver Chair, holy mother of God. And I understand that you directed a video for the Goops. Yeah, yeah, without the band. Not that we didn't like the band, it was just, you know... With you and, and Jay. Jay. It's much cheaper that way. <laughs> Pardon me, Silent Bob and Jay. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, you know, Silent Bob, Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. Is Silent Bob hard to direct? Man who doesn't talk? Uh, he's a bitch, man. Yeah. You know, such a bitch. We gotta find Jay and Silent Bob. It's the two guys that have even less to do than us. Silent Bob's an electrical genius. He won the science fair in eighth grade by turning his mom's vibrator into a CD player. Knock it off! Yeah. Where do you get those wonderful toys? Snoochie Boochies. Now, is, is there really that much tension between Jay and Silent Bob? Um. No, I mean, it's, it's, there's a very homoerotic relationship going on there. Like that, Smithers and Mr. Burns. Exactly, exactly like Smithers and Mr. Burns. And, uh, Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the Goops video that you directed. Here, is, here are the Goops with Build Me Up Buttercup. Oh, son of Jarrell! Kneel before son! Kennedy here at the Mulrats premiere party with Kevin Smith writer-director, and Stan the Man, Stan Lee, creator of The Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, The X-Men, holy mother of Jesus, how... Now, I'll get to you in a second, Stan. Right. You just Take sit your here... Time. I love you saying these. You be legendary for a second. Let me talk to Kevin. How did you come up with the idea to write about and put Stan Lee in your film, Kevin? Again with the whistle, again with the whistle. <laughs> Do the whistle again. Uh, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna have a scene, right, where a comic, a comic god confers with a hero and convinces him to go back to his girl, it has to be Stan Lee. Yeah. Stan Lee is comics. Stan is the face of comics. But you didn't get an actor to play Stan Lee. You got Stan Lee to play Stan Lee. We tried to get you to play Stan Lee. I couldn't do it, man. I'm too short Only for the part. Stan Lee can play Stan Lee. That's exactly. It. Stan but Lee. But it wasn't easy, you know, because I wasn't really playing myself. Because in the movie, I play a soft-spoken, kindly, avuncular kind of guy. Uh -huh. And in real life, as you can see, I'm just the opposite. Oh, you're So a... it was an acting job. I expect an award for that. Well, uh, take a look at this. Dustin Hoffman, watch your butt. <laughs> Stanley in action, talking to Brody. He's a hard out, Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when it was all about comics for me. You know, I, I had a girl probably the same as yours. She always complained that I spent too much time with my own comics, and uh, eventually we broke up. See, what did she know? Here you are now, a legend in the field. Probably had a slew of women since her, am I right? Oh, lots of women. Jagger and me, we had a running contest to see who had the most. Matter of fact, last time I looked, I was way ahead. Damn, that's hot! So there you go, you and Jagger have that contest, huh? <laughs> that was the funniest line. Jagger will sue me, I'm sure. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> oh, come on. Just paying four or five mil like Bill Gates did for Windows 95. Right. It's only set. money, of course. Amen, baby. All right, you stay here on the way. We've got Shannon Doherty, a performance from Sponge, and much more as the Mall Rats premiere party continues. Right, Kevin? Oh, yeah, of course. Would you lie? Would she lie? Hell yeah. Have I ever had sex in a mall? No, but one day, you know, I aspire to that. Oh, 
hardly having sex now. Oh, no way! But thanks for asking. No, I have never had sex in a mall. Going up. Back to the uh, Mall Rad premiere party. I'm here with Kevin Smith. And Jason Lee. Hello. Hello, Jason. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome to the couch. Thanks. So, uh, can I tell you a story about Jason? Sure, Jason's an actor now. How long have you been an actor, Jason? Since Mall Rats. This is your first acting job ever, huh? Yep. This is such an incredible breakthrough performance. Jason, if you're not familiar with his work, is a professional skateboarder, and he is sponsored by one of the biggest skateboarding shoe companies in the world, Airwalk, who also makes snowboard boots and fine luxury shoes. And he has, not only does he, is he on the Airwalk skate team, he has his own signature model, the Jason Lee Airwalk shoe, which I'm wearing, and I'm liking. They're comfy. This guy, a street skating guy, go from skating the street and doing the kick flippy lolly jam jobs to acting in a major motion picture. Uh, wanting to do it and, and, and getting an audition. I wanted to, to do movies really bad. And I, I went out on auditions every once in a while, kind of, but I wasn't really into it, like TV and stuff, but I really wanted to do movies, you know? And then so I got an audition on Mallrats. And I just auditioned a lot and really wanted the part and stuff. And and uh, Kevin thought that I could do it, so. And you did it. And I did it. Now, Kevin, Ke Kevin, mm -hmm. did you write this dialogue specifically for Jason? Because the way you write, he performs it so well. No, no, no. I mean, it, this, the, the part was there. Right. Do you think he's a natural? Like. I I, th I think he's amazing. I think he. I think like there's some people that were put on this earth to do the dialogue, kind of dialogue I write, and Jason's just one of them. He, he, and he's, he's one of the main ones. I mean, he just, he let it flow, man. He was Brody. How's it I go from the verge of hot Floridian sex with Brandy to man of still coital debates with you in the food court? Kyrgyzstan is not part of the food court. Well, of course it is. The food court is downstairs. The cookie stand is upstairs. It's not like we're talking quantum physics here. The cookie stand counts as an eatery. The eateries are part of the food court. Both. Eateries that operate within the designated square downstairs qualify as food court. Anything outside of said designated square is considered an autonomous unit for mid-mall snacking. Hey there, it's Kennedy and uh, Jeremy London. She got it right. What did, what did you think I was going to say? Well, I figured you would call me Jason. I wasn't going to call, call you Jason. Well, Your uh, twin brother, Jason. Kevin Smith, Kennedy. Jeremy London here at the Mallrats premiere party. Now, uh, is it him or his brother that's in the Aerosmith video? His brother. Are you the one in the Aerosmith video? No, I'm not the one in the Aerosmith video. My brother's the one in the Aerosmith video. Let's take a look. Premiere party of goodness and mercy where the Lord blesses your eyes with the sweet interviews and viewing privileges that is the movie Mallrats. Kevin Smith. Jeremy London and Joey Adams joining me on the couch today. He plays T.S. This is T.S.'s spurned love. Now, it was a volatile relationship the two of you had, and in the movie you show your breasts, Joey. Yes, I do. Which was more exciting? You get to see her breasts if you watch the movie, folks. Come see the movie because you get to see Joey's breasts. Which is more exciting, showing your, uh, your well, you know, or the dialogue between you and Jeremy? Showing my breasts. You know, they have a whole room you're supposed to do that in. Yeah, well, some pervert wanted to see me naked so badly today, he busted in on me twice while I was trying on stuff. This saves him the effort. Ever slept with somebody? Uh, yeah. We, uh, we slept together one time, remember, in high school, that, uh, that ski trip? That was you? Yes, Brody, I have slept beside many people. What? We got mad props but us. What do we need to do? Can't even get in here. The fresh maker. What about our disguises? Yes. Fresh maker. All right, uh, this is the Mallrats premiere party. Kennedy on the couch, the fold-out couch, the convertible with Kevin Smith and uh, Jason Lee. 
So, uh, Jason, tell me about this stink bombing. Stink bombing, stink bombing. Take a look. Stink bomb. Man. Stink bomb. You take your hand, you stick it in your ass like this. You've been walking all day and you're all so nervous, so no doubt you'll be sweaty as hell. You should see yourself right now. A grown man with his hand down his pants. Yeah, I probably look like my old man. <clears throat> there, now you shake hands with the guy. Hey, Mr. Svenning, how have you been? What's the point? You know how long it takes for that smell to come off? Scrub all you like, it'll stick around for at least two days. How does he explain it to his colleagues and family? They'll think he doesn't know how to wipe his ass properly. Mr. Svenning, how have you... Damn, would you feel that iron grip handshake? Have you stink palmed anyone in real life, Jason? No. No. Yeah, but you're a good boy. Did you really stick your hand down your pants in the movie? Um, yeah. <laughs> How many takes? Uh, one. Okay, that's good. All right, uh, well, stay here. We got a lot more stuff from the Mallrats premiere party. Kennedy from MCP, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. And one for you. Yeah. Shake it good. Yeah. Thank you very much. You'll not thank me later, but right. have fun inside, Cameron. Put on bum. Keep it real. Smells Interview like the butter. Guest. Interview the guest. Sorry, Kevin. Sometimes I need direction. And uh, a woman that needs absolutely no introduction, Shannon Doherty. Shannon, you saw the film tonight. You saw the big screen. What did you think? It was funny. It was. Fu uh, this is the second time I saw it, and it was funnier the second time. It was good. Are you glad you got to curse? That I got the what? Got to curse. It's so nice to be able to like go on and say words like the F word. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I think that sometimes cussing is really good because it adds emphasis to the statement that you're trying to make. Shock and expression. Exactly. And people are always trying to keep women from swearing. I know, and I, I don't understand the deal with that. I mean, are we always supposed to be ladies and like perfect or, you know? Heck no. Absolutely not. And it's darned annoying. My God, I've got a beef. But uh, so let's let's talk about your character a little bit, Renee. Renee definitely wore the pants in the relationship. Did you uh, did you like the dialogue? Did you like the rhythm of the dialogue between Renee and Brody? Yeah, you know, I was in a lot more scenes, but Kevin cut me out of the movie. You know why? Because you're a woman and you are too good, and that's intimidating to a man like Kevin. Is that what it is, Kevin? She was intimidating, wasn't she? Yeah, you know, it's the girls. I call you all the time! Renee, my mom's asleep. Come over. You call that romantic. When was the last time you pulled out my chair or told me I was beautiful? And this guy does all this in the span of a day. This guy already introduced me to his mother. Really? Kennedy here with Kevin Smith and Shannon Doherty. We've got a lot to talk about with Shannon and Kevin, which we will do a little later on. Also, a performance from Sponge. Take a lot of looking at the movie Mallrats and uh, some great interviews and some family moments. Still to come. Stay here. The Mall Rats premiere party continues. You sure you saw her get on, right? Maybe she was getting off. It's all right. So uh, let's talk about your character, Renee. Okay. How would you characterize Renee? What kind of girl is she? Strong, fierce, independent, really fast talking. Yeah. Cool character. <laughs> she like you? Uh, in some respects, yeah. She expects a lot out of people and is sometimes incredibly disappointed, but I think that she stands up for herself and speaks her mind, and it's pretty amazing, actually, that a guy wrote her. Yeah. Well, Kevin is a very, very sensitive writer. He is. He's a sensitive guy. He broke down on the set a bunch of times crying hysterically, and I just thought, you know, this man is so sensitive and so caring and so cool. It's really endeared me to him a lot. Was it, uh, was it fun filming the sex scene in front of him? I loved it. He could not take his eyes off of my ass, actually. <laughs> was it hard filming that with Jason Lee? Never mind that question. Okay. We got a lot more from the Mallrats premiere party. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Shannon. And keep your eyes off her ass. Yeah. Stay here. 17 years old is Kathy Hamperley. 17. Only 17. 17 years old is Kathy Hamperley. Da 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 da
where this party's rocking, the girls are fine, and the grog is swell. But I don't know what's up with these fruity ass drinks. This Kool-Aid nonsense, ruining my night. I think it's time for a little bit of sabotage. Well, put that down, you tubby bitch. You don't need those empty calories. MTV Sports, hold me. Fruity ass drinks. Yes! No more fruity drinks for you, huh? No more green grasshoppers. No more pink squirrels. What? Come here, give me some Mai Tai out of here. <laughs> One down, I'm get 99 more to go. Smith tells me that there's a whole homoerotic undercurrent going on between Silent Bob and Jay. Is that true? Definitely. Well, you know what, baby? What's that? Mall Rats is one heck of a movie. Jason, you're a New Jersey kid, and you've made this part your own. Clerks brought it all the way back to Mall Rats. Very proud of you, son. Thank you. Consider this case closed. Go see Mall Rats. Get the soundtrack. Weezer, Bush, Elastica, Sponge. Silver Chair, they're all on there. You can see Jason Mewes, Jason Lee, Kevin Smith, Shannon Doherty. All your favorites are in this movie. It's a fine film. And I'm the last one here, right? You are it. I'm the last you know person. what? You're the last person, so let's take a nap, baby. Let's whip this couch out if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I have to spell anything out. Well, there it is. All right. So, uh, here we are. Our video corner. Here it is. Woo! But if Benny's so taut, you can bounce a quarter off. We'll see you soon. We'll see you at the mall. Bye-bye.